So we talked a lot about natural point of aim, and there's just two things I want to touch on here. See, natural point of aim is what we call it. It's an open loop versus a closed loop system. Like a closed loop um, system is where you take information, you make adjustments, and then you you know take in more information, make an adjustment till you get it dialed in. Sighted fire is like that, right? Because you, you, oh, it's a little high, it's a little left, it's a little, okay, there, there we go, I got perfect height, equal height, equal light, okay? That's a closed loop, takes more time. Natural point of aim is more akin to uh, um, an open loop where you just send it, you know, you just, you just um, align it and you send it. You're not getting a lot of feedback. You're getting some feedback with a feel, but it's not a lot of alignment, not, not a lot of feedback, hence it's, it's fast. All right, and that's why we use natural point of aim for closer targets, right? But here's the thing, this is important. To build your natural point of aim and not go slow and rely on the sights, right? You can reference them, but you don't wanna slow down to get that information and do those loops. You have to have your permission to fail card, okay? And you, I know I handed these out in class, I hope you still have yours, but permission to fail, right? Everyone has permission to fail. Because you cannot, by definition, improve your natural point of aim, and a lot of skills for that matter, it doesn't go much beyond just natural point of aim development. You cannot improve that without a permission to fail. So I get further and further and further away from this target, all right, and I also do it uncalibrated, right, which we'll talk about here in a second. And I gotta, I gotta go um, until I, you know, I start just getting a little bit of misses and such, all right. Um, and then get some corrective action. And also I know the, the limits, because obviously at 100 yards, I don't natural point of aim. At 20 yards, I can almost make, but I don't really natural point of aim. But you know, for some people it's seven yards, for some people it's 12 yards, but, but they learn um, where their limits are and they grow them by going to fail. So you have to have permission to fail, all right? It's a very, very important psychological thing that a miss from an ephemeral laser that's there and gone is not a big deal, all right? Like, don't beat yourself up on it. Just you know, like, you know, who goes out and shoots baskets and makes every basket, right? If you do, you're just shooting layups. You're not doing 10 point, you know, 10 foot jumpers and three pointers and such, right? So that's, it's an important, important concept is permission to fail. Whew. Let's do side of fire. Mm -hmm.